What a crazy roller coaster ride this past summer has been. Here we are, the 2nd of, of September. And it's crazy clouded and there's, uh, there's, you know, rain in the area and it's cool. Not 95 like it normally is, but um, some of you have asked to see uh, some of my updates on uh, some of the graphs that I did the, over the summer. Now, back in uh, early June, I did a graft on a, I did some top working on a, uh, the Wilma tree. I cut uh, the Wilma tree down to a stump and uh, it sent up some really leathery shoots, really fast growing. And I figured I'd give it a try, do an experiment, and uh, I grafted some of those really giant avocados, uh, that seedling avocado, I think, of Nabal. I did some grafting on it. And uh, uh, let's take go over there and take a look, and we'll see how uh, the uh, grafts have turned out in, let's see, three months since I grafted it. My name is Jeff. If you like this channel, click the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. So let's go over there and take a look at the, uh, the, the monster avocado tree that I grafted. So <clears throat> first thing I'd like to talk about is this. Um, this is the uh, Carmen house that I had grafted earlier in the spring. And then I planted it out, I'm going to say in early, late late june early no uh, early early july and as you can see it's doing wonderfully i did have to whitewash the trunk and as everybody should in especially in the valley because the sun is really really hard on young avocado trees at least until the shade the leaves shade out the uh the, the branches in the trunk and i and i and i do most any any part of the tree that is uh exposed to this sun <laughs> and we have some pretty darn hot sun but here we go here's the uh the wilma tree the former wilma tree and uh, it was grafted wilma was grafted on i believe a mexicola grande rootstock the tree got big and then all of a sudden i did multi grafts on it and it just last year did horribly you know it uh, it had a lot of fruit on it but it just was really looking bad so i decided to cut it down i was gonna put my macadamia nut tree here in this raised bed and um yeah so i um uh, it started sprouting and as you can see in uh, the the little segment i did a few seconds ago i did some really cool grafting on some really really rubbery rapid growing uh, um, uh, trunks that, that had sprouted up suckers that had sprouted up and this is the result just you know a couple months after the graft uh, here you can see now I've covered the graft union up with uh, some whitewash but you can see it, it took very well uh, as all three of them did they did really well uh, these are all that uh, giant seedling, the ball or whatever. It's a Guatemalan type uh, avocado. So uh, hopefully it does okay in our uh, winters. But uh, the fruit is delicious. Very reminiscent of a reed. Only about three times as big. And so yeah, there's the, uh, the tree. And uh, I did shade it um, right after I grafted it. And because, I mean, we were in the 110s. And so I did put a, um, I did put a, uh, a, a beach umbrella, a small beach umbrella, shading one side of it, and I allowed the, the main part of the, the there's actually three trunks there, uh, to grow up. And it would get morning sun and afternoon shade. And about uh, three weeks ago, I I removed that umbrella, so I had it out there for about a month or so. Anyway, as you can see, it's doing wonderfully. This is just after a couple months. The graft is here, and this is all new growth. So this is what you can do. Um, you know, once you learn how to do some gra avocado grafting, and I'm going to do a, a, a video coming up. I believe the next one I'm going to do is going to be my wife uh, showing everybody her first time grafting an avocado. So if you like this channel, 
If you like growing exotic tropical fruit trees in marginal climates, click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below because, well, you know, I do my best to get back to everybody's comments and questions. You have a wonderful day.